Welcome back, my sassies, to Projections of Sassiness, where projects and sassiness go hand in hand. So last week, I was hired to make a boho picnic table, or also known as a glamping table. And this is for one of my favorite customers. She's having a one-year celebration for her business. So happy anniversary for your one year in business. And I'm really excited to get this done for her. We're going to go ahead and get right into the supplies. Everything will be listed in more detail down in the description area. Like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get started. Now here I've placed my wood, so I've laid my wood out as wide as I think it should be. I'm just making sure that I can fit a table runner because I know she wants a table runner in the middle and then plates to be set on each side. And this looks about perfect. Next, I'm just taking this long one by two and I'm gonna cut this down to make a brace underneath the table. Now you want your brace to cover all the seams on the wood. So you want your brace to go from here all the way down past this seam, maybe two or three inches past so that you can hold the table together once you screw that in. And once you get your first one cut, go ahead and line that up to get the rest of them cut. We're doing two on each table. I'm making two tables, so we want four of these pieces. Next, I'm just taking my level and making sure that I have the brace straight. My level also has a ruler on it, so I'm going to make sure that I have this about 19 inches from the side of the table and about 9 inches from the top of the table. So off camera, I used some of that Gorilla wood glue first before I drilled the brace to the table. And I'm just using my wood screws and drilling the screw into every slat. And what you do on one side, you must do to the other. So same thing on the other side. So same setup for the next table. This is table number two. 
doing the same thing measuring 19 inches in from the side and nine inches from the top there's that wood glue that you guys didn't see the first time so i did that off camera and then just drilling in the brace to every slat so when this was requested you know i didn't know about glamping tables or boho picnics so when she was like can you make a glamping table i was like i don't what is that and so she sent me pictures and i'm like oh okay i've seen that but i didn't know that that's what it was called i knew that glamping was just a fancier way to camp but you know i didn't know all about the tables and the centerpieces and the setup for that and the pillows on the floor but i think this is going to be a really cute celebration and she's going to have it decorated so cute so Yes, we're on to our second table and keep watching so we can see the final result, y'all. <laughs> oh yes, and I flipped the table over so that I make sure that I attach it. I'm putting screws down into the brace underneath. Next is to add our top plates. So these top plates are just to put these legs that have screws already in them. That's how you attach them to the table. So the top plates just screw right into the leg like that. And your top plate goes on each corner of our table. I measured in one inch from each corner. I also added some E6000 glue uh, just for a tighter hold. And then I screwed those all into the corners. So I got these legs from Home Depot. They were like $7 and some change, but I really like these because they're unfinished, just like the wood. But Amazon had some really pretty legs, but most of their legs didn't have pre-screws in them. So they did have the pack that you could buy. If the legs didn't come with the screw on the top, you could use that pack and it has like a adapter or a, a nut that you drill into the leg and then you can place your screw there too. So I thought that was really neat. So we're about done and time to put the legs on this here table, y'all. <laughs> Now, looky here, looky here, y'all. We are almost done. So look at those legs there. I still have some sanding to do because, you know, it's unfinished wood, so there's still some splinters on the edges. Um, I wanna round out the corners. And then I also wanna get off this lumber stamp that you see on the top here. So sand that down. But what do you guys think? I still got a little bit of more work to do and I want to show you it just comes right underneath the knee so well way underneath the knee come on y'all come with me and check out this boho shabby chic outdoor glamping table Yes, uh, I am just in love with the table. I'm going to make myself two of these. But you have two four feet tables here, a total of eight feet with 14 inch tall legs. It is unfinished pine for the tabletop and unfinished pine for the legs as well. And I made these pompous centerpieces here. Those were quick, easy, and cute to make for the tabletops. This will seat about eight people. I threw my cheetah throw, had to give y'all some cheetah and some pillows here for seating. You would put pillows on the opposite side there for your guests on that side. And then you would just decorate the top all out just like this here. Some gold accents, some moss to make it more outdoorsy. I mean, how much more outdoorsy can y'all get? <laughs> some wine, it would pair nicely with a charcuterie tray. I mean, yes, y'all. 
and I can't wait to see my girls Carmel and Tatiana how they decorate this for their one year in business celebration I want y'all to check them out they have an Instagram page their Instagram handle is candy underscore candies on Instagram and I'll put that information down in my description area for you guys to check out I mean they've got the most decadent most vibrant colored and pastels candied apples and covered strawberries and I'm sure a lot more pretzels and all that stuff your mouth is gonna drop and water at the same time <laughs> so for all of you that have made it to the end of this video thank you very much for watching I appreciate y'all have a great weekend until the next video stay safe stay blessed and always remember stay sassy y'all